Hey guys, okay, so today I'm here with a Sephora haul and I'm super excited about everything I have to show you. Um, we kind of, this has been over like a month of going to Sephora. This is like in two trips in one month. So, and we had some gift cards to help us out. So don't think like we just threw down stacks at Sephora. <laughs> I wish I could, but that's not real for me anyways. Um, <laughs> so I guess I'll just jump right into everything that I got. Um, well, first of all, I kind of have to talk, well, at least bad news for me. Um, a while back I reviewed a Tarte Today Special Value thing on QVC and it was like a whole kit that came with BB cream and mascara and eyeliner and like a lip color. And I think it even came with like some concealer too. But the eyeliner that came in that kit was like my favorite thing ever. And so I noticed earlier before we left to go to the mall that I was running low on it. So I'm like, okay, well, while we're there, I'm going to pick up some more eyeliner. And they didn't have it. And I looked on like their website. I looked on Sephora's website, or Sephora's website, Ulta's website, Tarte's website. It's nowhere. It's like discontinued or un it's like unavailable everywhere. They have it on Amazon, I think, for like, I don't know how much. And I don't even know if it's the same one. So I'm not even going to chance it. So I'm just really bummed out because that was like my favorite eyeliner ever, ever. <laughs> so today I had to come home with an eyeliner since I'm running low. So I got the Sephora retractable waterproof eyeliner. And like I've used this before in the past and it was it worked fine but I just kind of wanted to experiment with other ones and so I don't have any issues with this eyeliner that's why I got it so I'm excited to have this back because when I used it all the time I liked it so I don't even know why I ventured away from it in the first place I guess I was just curious and wanted to see what else was out there but this is a good eyeliner and I'm just excited, I guess, to have something reliable and something that I know that I enjoyed using. So instead of like more experimenting, um, I'm just excited to have something that is a staple and that I know I like. So that was the first thing I got. And then I kind of went on this Soap and Glory binge a little bit. And this brand, like, I had never even heard of it. I saw it when I was at Sephora. It's, like, in the back of the store where all the skincare stuff is. And what drew me in was, like, the pink and black display. It just looked really cute. And so I started, like, testing and smelling things. And I had to come home with some stuff. And so the first thing that I fell in love with was the Flake Away, like, body polish. And so it's basically, it's like an exfoliating body scrub, basically. And you just use a little bit of it in spots where you maybe feel a little dry. Or like, I know it's really good, like after you shave your legs and like you scrub it on. Oh my gosh, like your legs are super silky and soft after that. And this smells amazing. That's what drew me in. Um, so I actually got two of these. And this little size is only like $5. So I was like, why not? And so I just kind of wanted to try it out anyways, and so far I love it. I know they have a bigger one, but I still have, like, I have this one, and then my other one is actually in the shower right now. So I don't use it every shower just because I want it to kind of last a while, but when I use this, it's, like, the best thing ever, <laughs> and I really like it. So that was that, and then I got this glow lotion by them. And it has a subtle shimmer to it. It's not like glittery lotion, but it, there is a shimmer there. And I'm actually wearing it right now. And like, you can't even really see it. And my skin actually feels really soft, but it smells really good. It has a nice little shimmer to it. And like, I don't know, it just smells good. <laughs> like if you want something just to like wake up your skin a little bit and give it some sort of fragrance, this smells really nice. So... Ugh, like it really it just smells so good <laughs> so I have that on and then when I was there the first time um I was with my sister and her best friend Vanessa and she's like my little sister too but we were testing out this plumping lip gloss and like we had never tried it before so we put it on and like some people say it burns but I just like it feels kind of like super tiny carbonation bubbles like on your lips and you, I actually really did notice a volumizing 
like my lips were plumper after I put this stuff on. And so today when I was there, I had to come home with some. So it's the uh, the Super Color Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. And I just got it in clear. They have a few different shades, but I just thought I could wear this like all the time and then just put like whatever gloss I have over it or even just wear it like this. And so I definitely noticed a difference in my lips. And I, I like how it feels when you put it on. It kind of like tingles a little bit and it just feels nice. <laughs> like it's like I can feel it working. So, and it has like a cocoa buttery type scent. So I don't know. I just really like this. And so I'm glad that I got it and I'm excited to keep using it. So that was that. And then... Let's see. And then, like, so lately I've been using my Urban Decay B6 Prep Spray, and I love it. And before I even had that, I used the um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, and I love that too. And so I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and I actually did my makeup earlier. Like, I've been out and about all day long. I did my makeup earlier at like 1 30 and it's like 9 30 at night now and I've been like literally running around the mall and the grocery store I've been all over the place today and it's Saturday and it's like sunny outside well not anymore it's nighttime but it was sunny and warm and um, my makeup looks fine like it looks just like it did when I put it on earlier I didn't even touch it up before I came on to film the only thing I did was I just put like some more lip gloss on but other than that like my makeup is fine, my blush is fine, everything looks good, my eyeshadow stayed put all day. So like I really love this stuff. Um, I know there are other primers, like I'm pretty sure NYX has a good makeup setting spray also, but I'm kind of used to my Urban Decay stuff and I guess like if I'm like short on money or something I'll just grab that if I really need one. But this stuff like really works for me and I really like it. Oh, it just takes a couple sprays just to like cover your face and then it'll, it like dries in a second. So this is really awesome stuff and I'm so glad I finally have it. <laughs> um, okay. And then the final thing that I'm so excited about and I know like my sister and I have been wanting this since before it came out is the new Naked 3 palette. I have it and I'm so glad and I actually only have the first one I don't have the second one but when we saw the third one it's like all these colors are gorgeous um they're like they kind of all have a rose tone to them and like that's my new favorite color I think um, everything is just so pretty and I would open the box but like we would be here forever and I don't think you want to see that well, maybe, well, actually, you probably do. And so that's why I'm going to be doing a review video on the Naked Palette and at least do like an unboxing to show you guys everything um, because this also came with some primers, like it, eyeshadow primers came with it. So I'm like so excited about this palette. Every color is gorgeous. Like the texture is like, ugh, it just feels so creamy when you put it on. At least how that's how the first one was for me. And I know like the third palette is going to be the same way. Um, I'm just really excited about all the colors and how well they're all going to go together. And then I want to like mix and match like my first palette and then the third one. So I'm just like crazy excited. <laughs> um, so and I'm glad to finally have it too because we would have ordered it sooner like online. But then my sister and I kind of wanted the satisfaction of walking into the store and actually seeing it there. And when we were at Sephora, we were pleasantly surprised like we weren't even looking for that. And it, it was like just there. So we're like, Oh my god, we have to come home with it and so we did <laughs> so that was my whole Sephora haul I hope you guys enjoyed um I know I'll be having some more videos coming up soon for you guys I'll have a Birchbox review and then my Ipsy bag should be coming in so I'm just really on a roll with keeping these videos consistent for you guys every week like I want to have at least one a week maybe two sometimes um so <laughs> If there's anything you guys want to see or anything different you want me to do, let me know down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I guess don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye guys.